Hey peeps, Gamer Drag here. Welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time we created some AI limiters and I left that running overnight. We have a bunch of those now. I'll take a handful. Why not? You never know when they'll be useful. And what we're going to do today is start our progression towards oil and rubber and stuff like that. So let's get this going uh, right away. So we need rotor, motors, motors, everything else we're good for. But we haven't got any motors at the moment. And motors are going to take statos. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's really good. Uh, Stator and rotor. So we're going to need to create a factory, I think, that creates this for us. Um, I think all of this is just... Oh, there's a bit of copper needed. It's, it's Oh, there's steel needed for this one. Hmm. Okay, so we need to find copper. Why can't I close that? Copper, uh, steel we've got here. I think we're going to make it here. Let's go up and see if we can find a space to do this. Um, like here, maybe. So let us just get a constructor out, or assembler actually. And let's just have a look at some numbers here. Oh, we've got an alternative. Okay, now this this is this is probably this is probably the way to go. This alternative copper rotor. Yeah. Okay. So we need so we need two of each to make one. So basically, if we want to have let's let's have a look at this if we want to have 10 let's say 10 a minute then we need 20 a minute of rotors and satos all right let's just do a bit of maths one moment please okay peeps i've done some calculations and we're going to go and try and create 20 of these rotors motors a minute um, and to do that, we're going to have to get rid of this. It's time to say goodbye to this temporary factory. We need to massively increase our wire production. So I want to get our wire production up to 240. We will also need to up our... Oop, didn't want to do that. Doesn't matter. Up our rod production. Uh, I don't want to jump down there either and we want to up that also to 240 a minute so we're going to say goodbye to our uh, little rod factory over here and in fact this is now going to be this is now going to be the start of us clearing this area up because you know this has always been temporary and it's always been a mess uh, i think this is our rod factory yeah so what I'm going to do, I think, is take the output of this and this and send it up there and we will build our rod factory up there. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so we're up here now and yeah, we've got a nice big flat area to build. Uh, and so we're going to be building a number of constructors, 16, I think, and enough smelters to deal with all of this that's coming up and replace these with Mark II miners. Uh, so we're probably going to have to do a bit of clearing up here. Actually, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much clearing to do. Uh, but I shall get on and do that and build us some foundation for us to start building. 
Okay, peeps, well, it's been built, and I have now built in a Mark II minor, 120 a minute. So I think, I can never remember, yeah, Mark II belt will cope with that. And all we need to do is feed it up there. And the same with this. Uh, this setup can now also go. Let's just get rid of some of this. And this needs to become a Mark II Miner, which means I need one more portable miner. I've got no room. What can go? Get rid of the screws. Okay, and we can build that. I've got something there now. What have we got? Oh, <laughs> I had a miner. Hmm. Wait a minute, I need to get rid of some of this rubbish. I am clogged up. Okay. So here we can place our second Mark II miner. Can't afford. Oh no. Okay, I need to go and get some more. I need to go and get a few more bits. One moment. Okay, let's try that again. Mark II miner. And I want to try and... It doesn't matter for now. I was going to put it on concrete, but it doesn't matter. Let's just get this up and running. And power. Where can we get power from? There. Let's put a power cable there between the two of them. And that should see double check our calculations 120 or from there and 120 or from there brilliant so as soon as I see all coming out there we go I will run up the top here and show you what we've got it's uh, not powered on yet I don't think but we can run round and there she is Okay, so what have we got? Well, it's basically uh, a mirror. The two sides are mirrored. So I'll show you the one side and the other side's exactly the same. Okay, so we have our ores coming in at a rate of 240 a minute. They're being split into four smelters each that can do 30. It's 120. Not powered on yet, so nothing's happening. In fact, let's let's get the power on. We need to get power from there. Now this could very well <laughs> take our power supply out. Okay. So the iron then comes out of the smelters at a rate of 30 a minute and is then split into eight constructors on each side, four down here and four exactly the same above. These are then producing 15 iron rods and we should see 15, let's see some coming out, I want to see something coming out, nothing, we missed a belt, nope, uh, just hasn't got there yet, okay, 15, 30, Forty-five is going to be where? Forty-five. Come on, last one. This is sixty. Okay, so sixty coming out of there. The same should be happening here. I will double check all of those working in a minute, and then. Um, 
Uh, yes, now I had this ladder. I had a bit more of a platform before. I'm going to have to move this ladder. Oh, I did make it. Same thing up here. All, all coming out. And once they're all ramped up, they will come here and head down. And it'll all merge here. Yeah. And from here, we need to get it back to our base. Now, the way to do that, I have, which I haven't done yet, I think, is to utilise this and just reorganise this slightly because we've already got our belt there with the iron rod on it and we can just feed that in there instead of coming from over there. That'll be the simplest solution. So give me a moment while I tidy this up and we will we will feed them in this way. Wow, okay, that's done. So that's now coming down on a Mark III, coming into the line which I've upgraded to Mark III, all the way up into our base. So we now have a lot more stuff. We now have uh, 240 rods per minute coming into here. At the moment they're not moving obviously because our storage container is full. But it means now we can siphon those off somehow and go and produce rotors with them. All we need to do now is the same thing with this and convert this. These are currently Mark 1s here. Yeah. Okay. So let's think about this. Okay, I've thought, and then what we need to do is double this. We need four smelters. And. Wait a minute. Is that right? 30 per minute. This is producing 60. And this is a Mark 1. Yeah, yeah. We're just. We're going to double it. Double it. That's all we need to do. Um, but it's not going to be doubled here. We need to get this out of the way now. It's sort of in the way of the factory. So I think what we will do is we will take it down. Where's our next nearest copper? This way. How many is being used over here? Yeah, what I think we'll do is pipe the raw copper to this area here. Um, or it could be this area. To uh, Yeah, let's, let's just... No, this area here. That's where we're going. We're going to take it there and we're going to process it there. It's only a small setup. We only need four smelters and eight constructors. So... Uh, That'll be enough room for it, I think. Uh, and then we will bring the cable back pretty much the way it's coming now. Okay, let me do that. Oops, here comes our copper. And let's go and see where it's going. So at the moment, I've just got it crisscrossing over here. But if all goes to plan, it will come into here and be split up. Uh, I need power, I just realised. Where can I get power from? There? No. Hmm. Power. Is that power? Power. Power. Some copy brand here somewhere. There, apparently. Nope. Right there. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's a good start. I've got to find power. There, let's bring that down to here. And into there. Okay. Now, if all goes to plan, the ores are split up. And we should see four belts with copper. Fantastic. They're all 
merge together. Let's just double check we're getting this right. So they're merged into 120. So this is a Mark II belt, which takes it down and splits it into eight constructors, four on each side, which should all be producing one, two, It'll take a bit for it all to ramp up. Three. Four. Okay. There they go. Uh, need to tidy up back here. I haven't done that yet. These are all these will come out. And just put down temporary foundations. And hopefully we should see the same this side as well. One, two. Three and four. Okay, that'll ramp up with time, and then they're fed back up to the factory into. Oop, missed exactly the same place that they were going into before. Uh, and that's fine. That's great. We can now take out all this extra foundation that we no longer need. And that's our copper wire sorted. So we're getting closer and closer now to being able to produce uh, the motors. Okay, that'll do. Got a bit of cleaning up to do around the other side as well. Take out some of this stuff. The other thing that I forgot to mention is we had previously researched uh, explosive things. And I believe we can now get rid of irritating little rocks like this. Let's give it a go. Look at that. Perfect. So we can now uh, explode our way through things, including some of the more deadly um, creatures. I believe, well, not necessarily the creatures, but the, um, what am I talking about? There, there is a, a flower somewhere that we have popped across, well, come across once or twice that um, releases spores and as you get close to it it becomes very toxic. Uh, we can now blow that up. That would be fantastic. Need a little bit of tidying up here just to make this look a little bit better. Um, let's put down some walls. Uh, not that mode, we want zoop please. Turn our torch on so we can see what we're doing. And it looks a bit more solid. And we'll replace that with something that looks like concrete in the near future. So for now, that is the preparation work done for our rotors, motors, motors. In the next episode, we'll be able to get on and actually build the things uh, because we should now have everything um, coming in. So, folks, if you've enjoyed, as always, please do leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out, and I appreciate that. Thanks for spending your time with me, and we'll see you next time on Satisfactory. Take care now. Bye-bye.